Hi! Welcome to Manos Creativas. My name is Rosy and today I'm sharing how to make this beautiful autumn themed Thanksgiving doll figure and use it to decorate a hanging mason jar. I really hope you like it. Let's get started! To begin, this is our template for reference. We are going to cut out the pieces for the face, the neck and shoulders, the tag or label, if you're going to use it, and also for our fall leaves. This is the one I cut out. And now we're going to start working on the neck and shoulders. As usual, just gonna measure out the amount of clay I need, then roll it out, spread it out over the area so I can cut out that cutout I have from the template, and then smoothing down the edges. Now I'm gonna get the underlying shape for her breast. So this is what I'm doing here right now. And then securing it and blending it with the background or the back of her torso. And I do call this the back because if you notice, we need to make sure that back is smooth because since our mason jar is transparent, we're gonna be able to see from inside the jar. We wanna make it look as good as possible. And now I just cut out that top part of her chest that's going to act like the sweater. And I'm smoothing down the edges, rounding down the borders. And I'm going to use glue to put both pieces together. Making sure everything matches all around. And now I'm just kneading through another piece which is what we're going to use for the arms measuring one arm and then gluing it in place and then just do the same for the other arm now here I am adding the design or the texture <laughs> or the pattern for her sweater so you're going to see me use different paints and just connect them together adding different layers using different colors at a time. Now we're done, so I'm just going to cut out a piece at the top of the neck to make space for the face. Now for the face, we're going to get one tablespoon of clay, cold porcelain clay. Knead it thoroughly. Make a ball. And make sure it's as smooth as possible. And now we're going to elongate that, so make it sort of like an oval shape. Now I'm just going to work in that shape for her face even more. Adding a little bit of Vaseline just so I can trace over my template, my cutout. And use that as a reference. Now I'm working on the mouth. As usual, adding two, making two dots on both sides of the mouth. that line we drew over from our template and then just shaping it up using my silicone tip brush making her lips signaling that space for her nose and then using a little bit of extra clay to make sort of like the tip of her nose adding the nostrils and then working on painting her eyes So the iris there, the pupil, now basically her, like the top of her eyelids, her waterline, working on those lashes now, luscious lashes.
And now I'm going to outline her eyes and paint her lips. Just like that. And now I'm just going to give her like a little bit of makeup. So just some blush. And adding some highlights to her forehead and then those little twinkly eyes. So those Y dots that help give her a better expression. Now for the scarf, we're going to get one tablespoon of clay in natural color, so no dyes at all. Knead it thoroughly. And then we're just going to stretch it out a bit into a cylinder. And then we're going to cut that in half and cut one half and another half. So in half again, so we get one fourth of that piece we modeled. Now we're going to knead that thoroughly and stretch it out again. You can use any tools at our disposal. And then cut out sort of like the scarf ends. You can add more if necessary. And then we're going to give it some texture. I'm just making some horizontal lines. It's a chunky scarf. And then I'm going to add it into my figure and add some little like balls as decoration. And make them puffy. Now I'm going to make the rest of the scarf, so this croissant sort of shape, also with the horizontal lines. In this case, they're vertical. And then just layering that through around her neck and covering part of her chin but we're gonna pull that away a bit just so we can still see her neck just like that for the hair we're gonna need one teaspoon well two pieces of one teaspoon and since we're always being cautious that we can't that well that the back of the piece looks good since we're working on a transparent surface. So we're gonna use this as the base of the hair. Now we're gonna flatten this piece of hair. And we're gonna make sure it's an oval, just like the head of the shape of her head, and place it right behind her head. Stretch it out if necessary, just make making sure it's covering the same area or the same space as the face. And that other teaspoon we measured, gonna make that croissant shape again and add it at the top for more volume since her face is separate from the jar. Now I'm getting another piece, also one teaspoon, and adding that to the top. That's gonna be the top of her hair. Part it down the middle and then adding some texture on both sides to make it look like hair. Now this tiny piece right here is going to be, I'm going to use it for her bangs. So making sort of a seashell shape, giving it some texture, and then blending it in with the rest of her hair. I'm getting, I'm making her ears now. So just adding them in, making some space for them. You just gotta have to glue them and make a tiny like indent in the middle. Next, we just added some shading on the hair and now we're gonna work on her braid. So we're getting half a teaspoon for each piece and we have four pieces of clay. We're gonna make a ball, stretch it out, and making it sort of like a very long tear shape all the way from her ears to the bottom of the jar. Now I am going to give it some texture again to make it look like hair using a screw for that. You can use any tools you have on this as well. Do the same for all four and then roll them out even more. So we're going to make them longer since we need them to be braids. 
Now get two of those pieces together and then just twist. Twist them all the way around. And do the same for the other two pieces. And now those new pieces you have twisted, you're going to piece them together and that's what makes it look like a braid. Now just fold it in half, cut it, and we're going to add one of the braids to each side of her head. Blending it in as well with the rest of her hair. And you can give this any shape you want. Now I'm adding some extra pieces of hair on top of her ear just to sort of frame the face. And then just some gold colors here to help the hair stand out. Now for the beret, we're going to need one tablespoon of gold porcelain clay and the same color as her sweater. Knead it thoroughly, make a ball. Try to keep it as smooth as possible. Then we're going to flatten it. And using that same tablespoon that we used to measure, we're going to give it the shape, so make it concave. Next, we just add some glue and place it on top of her head, making sure we shape it thoroughly so it doesn't lose its shape. Then add in some texture, sort of like the fold, and then one more strip of clay all around. This is like the border of the beret. Just like that. And then we're going to do the same thing with it for her sweater and add in the, the pattern. So just getting our colors, making lines, layering them through. Just checking to make sure I'm um, doing this as a very similar pattern or as ideally the same pattern. Once that's done, I'm making an indent at the top of the beret and of course adding the folds that would be natural for it. And we're going to use that same color we use for the scarf, so natural clay, to make a pom-pom at the top of her beret. Just like that. Now for the leaves we're going to use to decorate, we're getting one tablespoon of natural clay, one teaspoon, sorry, of natural clay, and then stretch that out until we can fit three of those leaves we cut out from the template. In my case, I made green, brown, and this sort of reddish orange color. So just measuring that out, cutting them out, and then giving it some texture. And then we add the colors. So for the green one, some greens, orange, a little bit of sort of uh, brown, reddish brown. For the orange, just orange and brown. And you can glue the leaves together to get them a little bit more volume. And then for the brown leaf, we just get two shades of brown. And I have this little extra pieces that I'm also going to use to decorate. Now for the tag or label, we're going to need one tablespoon of clay and the base color we use for the sweater and the beret. Now we're going to knead that thoroughly and stretch it out until we can fit that circle we cut out from the template. Just like this. You can also use a cutter, like the actual cutter if you have one. But if you don't, you can just trace around the cutout as well. Now we're just going to trace over our letters, so our text. And then using a brush, we're going to paint over those letters that we just traced.
and then make them a little bit bold so they stand out more. Now also adding some color to that stitch we made to the outside and then gluing in those extra pieces like the pumpkins. Now finally for those final touches we're going to start adding the leaves and all those extra pieces we we prepared. So adding some leaves to the side, to the other side, on her hair, on her beret. Now I'm going to get some jute twine, roughly one yard, cut it on the middle, and then make a knot around the handle of our little mason jar. Then wrap it around and make a little bow. Now I'm just going to decorate it a bit, adding some leaves, pumpkin, and that little label we made before, now that it's dry. I'm just going to tie that up real neat. And now we're going to add some beads to the tips of the cord. Now I added a little candle inside that's battery powered, and that's it. I really hope you like this project. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Rosie Rivera, and this is Manos Creativas. I hope you have a really great day. Thanks again. For relaxation, to share with friends and family, or even to start your own business, find all of her free and paid classes on our website. Every week, we share one free class and multiple premium classes. Enroll now at rosirivera.com classes.